Ah, uh, hello, hello, welcome in everybody, how we doing? This is going to be the second to last video before things change dramatically on this channel. I would just like to warn all of you, things are going to get a little bit scrunkly around here. I have really big plans for the second channel, I know it kind of looks like I've already, like, neglected it and it's already dying off and peeling back like every other second channel I've ever made, but no, this time it's going to be different, guys, you guys better stick around. I recently shout the channel out on the community post for the main channel, it's like the most I've ever done as far as plugging this channel so if you're here welcome things are going to start changing i'm going to start plugging it more i just want to get a little bit of a backlog of content beforehand but this second channel is about to pop off guys if you aren't subscribed already just subscribe and do all that stuff uh what am i going to talk about today oh yeah what the fuck is going on at netflix man is it just me or does it does it look like this company is kind of dying if you haven't been paying attention to the news surrounding streaming services which i mean to be honest if you have a life you probably shouldn't be but basically netflix is bleeding right now and it hasn't been looking all that good for a pretty long while and i'm gonna be honest guys netflix is by no means a perfect company the way they treat anime on their platform has been historically pretty awful like just take for example the fact that they never added shows weekly to their servers until very recently so you just had these situations where anime would be airing every single week on tv in japan and then in america we legally got it like a fucking year later like b-star season one is a pretty good example of this i remember the hype for the show just being absolutely nothing because there was no way to watch it legally in america and sadly it would seem as if most people uh watch anime legally uh <clears throat> but overall over the course of time especially in these past few years they've gotten a lot better with this type of stuff i like to think the releases of komi-san and blue period were steps in the right direction where they actually started you know releasing stuff weekly but at the same time we're getting batches of jojo part 6 episodes literally annually so it's like how can you possibly be this inconsistent after so long you've been in the anime anime game for so long what is wrong with you but even with all of this going on i always did find netflix to be the best streaming service for anime because they were never really because they were never really ahead of the curve or anything when it came to seasonal anime and stuff but they always had a lot of really good originals like violet evergarden little witch bna and some of my very favorites uh in general were on that platform at least in america stuff like clan ad kaon chunibio girls in panzer all available on netflix and by the way i just made a video about girls in panzer so i'm on the main channel i'm if you want to check that out. While I'm saying all of this, I need to emphasize that none of these are actually on the platform anymore. They do not have K on anymore. They do not have Girl Zoom Panzer anymore. They do not have Clan Ad anymore. And God damn it, they don't have Chinibio anymore. I have no idea what is happening internally in Netflix, but ever since they started bleeding red, they have just been dumping anime left and right. It seems to be the first thing to go. And it's honestly shocking to look at just how little anime they have on their platform right now, because as recent as only a year ago, it really was not like this. They used to have a lot of stuff. They literally only have 42 anime on their platform right now, and that includes the stupid originals like Castlevania and Glitter Force that they advertise as anime, but aren't actually anime. And you may not relate to this as much as I do, but the decline of Netflix and its licenses on anime is extremely alarming because when you think about it, what is the alternative? Obviously, you can go illegal and pirating, but all that stuff is kind of temporary. We don't know what the future holds, how it could be enforced in the future, so that's not something you should really take to heart too much. The only legal alternative, sadly, is Crunchyroll and Funimation, which, uh, uh-oh, they're kind of the same fucking company now and are in the process of merging. So if Netflix is leaving anime now, there is very very, very little competition for Crunchyroll left over. And I'm a little scared to see what it looks like when one company has such a chokehold over the entire industry. Now, you know, I've made it pretty clear how I feel about Crunchyroll in the past. They're not the best company, but their platform and service is convenient. I like using it on my phone, my TV, my dick, my balls. But do I want a company with these types of morals having this much power over my anime? Um, the answer is, uh, I do not. I do not want a company having that much power. And I already know there's gonna be some five head in the comment section down below just telling me I should go pirate anime. Guys, I've been watching anime since I was in my diapers. I know about illegal streaming services. I think the biggest problem with torrenting anime or using illegal websites is that they just aren't as convenient, and me and the majority of people are just lazy. That's really all there is to it. When I use Netflix or when I use Crunchyroll, I just turn on my TV or my phone and I, I press two buttons, maybe three, and I'm there. I'm already watching something. Have you ever tried using an illegal site on a phone or TV? It's actually toxic. I torrent stuff on my PC, but I don't even watch anime on my PC all that often. Look, I think it's safe to say 
say that when the initial announcement of the merge between Crunchyroll and Funimation happened, everyone's biggest concern was that there was going to be a monopoly in the industry. And I was personally pretty concerned about that as well, but at the time it wasn't that big of a deal because I knew that Netflix was becoming more and more involved with licensing anime, Disney was getting their hands in there too, and that Crunchyroll still had a big competitor in the market. But now that Netflix is bleeding out and doesn't really have the budget to compete in a market that is a little bit more niche like anime, things are starting to creep closer and closer to a monopoly. Shit is getting kind of fucking sus, boys. I don't know. It's obviously a developing situation because, I mean, at this point, we're basically just talking economics. Like, it's clearly going to be ever-changing, and what I say now could be completely irrelevant in due time. But as of this very moment, uh, things are looking a little grim. That's for sure. I don't have much else to say aside from that because, as I said, it's kind of a developing situation. But I would love to know what you guys think about this. What other streaming services have anime in your country? Do you guys have Netflix in your country? And is it as fucked as it is here? I don't know. Let me l let me know. Let me know. As always, this video was sponsored by our good friends over at Gamer Subs, which you can use my link in the description to go check them out and help support the channel. You get 10% off using my code or by clicking the link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, see you next time, boys.